Israel declared war after Hamas launched the surprise attack against them. Hamas launched thousands of rockets into Israel. Then Gaza militants entered Israel by land, sea, and air. In response, Israel retaliated with airstrikes against Hamas. Israel strikes back. We are living in the end times, and I want to show you how this war and other events as well relates to biblical prophecy. When Jesus' disciples asked him, what shall be the signs of his coming and the signs of the end of the world? In Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6, Jesus said, and you shall hear a war's and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all of these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So this war doesn't mean Jesus is going to return today, but it is a sign that we are living in the end times. And Jesus said these things must come to pass. Something else I want to show you that relates to end time prophecy and it happened right after this war started take a look at this headline massive earthquakes hit Afghanistan hours after this war started between Israel and Palestine powerful earthquake shook Western Afghanistan overnight today's quake was a magnitude 6.3 equal to the one that struck on Saturday Hundreds of homes that survived the earlier disaster collapsed this morning. However, the end is very near. And I'm telling you, it's closer than many people expect. Now, take a look at Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse of places. Now, take a look at the photos of the damage that these massive earthquakes left behind in Afghanistan. This didn't happen last month or last year. Like I said, this happened right after the war started. The Bible is fulfilling. Biblical prophecy is unfolding right now. The war between Israel and Palestine is setting the stage for worse events to happen. Jesus said, these things must come to pass. We are living in the end times. Lift up your head and look up because our Redeemer draweth nigh. God bless you.